Are you a runner or triathlete who deals with stomach upset when you run? Things like nausea, bloating, abdominal cramps, or urge to go to the bathroom? It can be so frustrating, right? That's why in this video, I'm going to help briefly explain some of the things that contribute to stomach upset when running and what you can do about them. Welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching, and I work with women who want to lose weight, restore their gut health, and improve endurance sports performance. So why do we get gastrointestinal or GI upset when we run? Well, running is pretty tough on the body. When you're going up and down a lot, that jostling motion of running, that can make digestion difficult, along with a lot of other factors that I won't dive into in this video, but the process of running can make digestion and absorption pretty difficult and cause some of these GI symptoms. If you want to learn more about why this happens and some of the reasoning behind it, I just launched a brand new course for runners who deal with digestive symptoms. It's called A Runner's Guide to Reducing Gastrointestinal Symptoms. It comes with a long ebook, very detailed of how to reduce GI symptoms and a video teaching course to help explain it all. You can find that on my website and I will also provide the link below if you'd like to learn more and get the course. So first of all, there are some things that contribute to GI upset or runner's stomach as we call it that we don't necessarily have control over. So for instance, if you're running in the heat or you're doing a race in the heat, heat can contribute to stomach upset. Not a whole lot that we can do to control that, although there are ways that we can respond with our diet and our hydration to help improve that, as well as things like heat training to become more acclimated to the climate. However, there are a lot of dietary factors that can either contribute to stomach upset or help us to reduce any potential GI upset that could ruin our training runs or our races. The food and the drinks that we consume, not only during running, but also before and sometimes even after, can play a very large role in either causing GI upset or helping us to reduce it. Some of these things include caffeine, so having too much caffeine can be a GI irritant and cause problems for some people. NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, things that we use for pain and reducing pain when you run, which a lot of people use far too often. Dehydration also plays a role. If you're not getting enough fluids into your body when you are running, this can contribute to GI upset as well as not eating enough, specifically enough carbohydrates. Also, if you're consuming gels that are really thick, very viscous, and you're not taking liquid with it, or you're drinking very highly concentrated carbohydrate or sports drinks, those can also contribute to stomach problems. There are also certain carbohydrates that can contribute to stomach upset. So a lot of runners are probably pretty familiar with the concept that you should reduce fiber before going on runs, as well as things like high fat, high protein, or any really heavy meal. So you typically wanna keep your meals less than about five grams of fiber prior to your run. What a lot of people don't know about are the specific types of fibrous carbohydrates called FODMAPs. I won't go into details on what this is because I just did a whole video on what these foods are and how to go about doing a diet that is low in FODMAPs, so you can check out that video for more information. But these carbohydrates can really affect runners who are a little bit more sensitive to these foods when they run. So not every runner will experience the same sensitivity or the same symptoms like bloating, nausea, diarrhea, gas, abdominal cramps, but some will. And lowering the amount of FODMAP carbohydrates that you have not only right before a run, but in the days leading up to a run or a race can help to prevent GI upset. The only thing about this diet is while it is really effective for helping to reduce GI upset, it can be a little bit complex. FODMAPs are found in a lot of common foods that runners eat, from apples to bananas to wheat bread to really healthy beans and green vegetables like asparagus or cauliflower. Also in things like garlic and onion that we put on a lot of our foods. All of these can cause problems in some runners. So in order to fully explain how this works for runners, I created the course that I mentioned before. Again, it's called A Runner's Guide to Reducing Gastrointestinal Symptoms, and basically what it does is it explains all the details of why we get GI symptoms, 
how you can go about preventing them, including some of the things I already mentioned, goes over FODMAPs, what they are, where you find them, and you also get a grocery shopping list for low FODMAP foods, sample meal plans that you can use during a training week, a race week, a carb load, and even the morning of the race. It also comes with a nutrition planner, so you can plan out all the details of what you're going to eat not only to reduce GI upset, but I've also included in the course all of the nutrition guidelines that runners, triathletes, and endurance athletes should be using to ensure you are getting enough energy, enough carbohydrates, protein, and fat to fuel your training, fuel your races, and fuel your recovery so that you can minimize GI upset, train and race really well, and feel your best. And if you feel like you need a little bit more personalized one-on-one -on -one support, please reach out. I would love to help you, whatever your health or fitness goal may be. You can reach me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com or visit my website at renewalfitcoach.com. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And until the next one, blessings on your health and fitness journey.